Hi there. I've been uh, working on um, a well where I want to put the forge, but a I decided pretty much exactly where I want to put the forge, which kind of lined up with half of a course of blocks, um, and they're just sitting there at this very moment for for visual. It's easier for me to see than if I would have just strung it out with string. Um, so. Pretty much where I decided I want to put it, I'm going to, I'm going to tear the shed down and put it back, reassemble it. I want to put it to where the door opens right, right to here. And let me get out of the camera, wait for a minute. So I can explain better if I just stand back here and point to it like I'm with you guys watching it. So it came out to be some weird, goofy measurements. I don't. I don't fully understand that part. It was uh, uh, just a few inches over 10 feet wide and like 13 feet long. It was, that was a weird, weird dimension. So I'm running a course of blocks all the way around so I can just see. And as you can see on the right hand side, it, it's much, much higher. Um, so I'm going to have to dig that in. I do want to put a little a uh, little concrete footer all the way through there. Um, I'm not going to rake out any of the internal leaves and all that stuff today because it's supposed to rain pretty hard overnight and I have erosion problems to start with. So I'm just going to let the ground stay the way it is until I come back to tackle it. Um, also, I'm going to be careful, I'm going to move this a little bit right over here. where things are a little uh, um, anyhow they're not in a straight line I've got several stumps along the way I'm still gonna have to cut out and dig up so um, that's kinda what's going on with that Wee. okay sorry about that and I've pretty much cleaned up all the all the dead trees sticks and all that other stuff that was throughout the inside there. Made a pretty good day out of burning all of it. Um, which is cool because it's also allowed me to tackle this little uh, brush pile over here and ignore the uh, tubing. i got to put that back on the gutter this evening before it rains. But I had to move it out of the way when I drove around back here yesterday. Um, so it's things are fairly close. I can take that a tongue, which is probably the biggest thing I'm worried about. That I'm sure that thing's going to be heavy. Uh, and once I get this leveled out, oh, yeah, that's the other part. I do. Um, that shed is just about the right height to bang your head into all the time when you don't pay attention to what you're doing. So I would like to, and I think I have enough blocks to do it. Um, I would like to run two full courses of blocks to set the shed back on top of. Um, that I'm hoping gives me enough clearance at the doorway where I can just walk in and out of it um, without smacking my head into the front of it. And I think that's pretty much about it for the forge project today. I got recorded some, ignore some of the noises, the uh, fiber to the house power line pullers are driving around the neighborhood, so I might get some real internet soon too. Okay, uh, so back to whatever I was, uh, um, oh, I did record some stuff earlier. And I'm going to try to sneak that in here somewhere along the way because uh, that far right hand corner back there, there's some some cool little wallflowers that popped up just today. And I have no idea what they are, so I recorded that and hopefully maybe some, some of you more plant knowledgeable people can help me with that. And that's pretty much about it. Um, most of the fire 
Most of the things that burned up today is still a good sustaining fire, so I'm going to try to cook my dinner off of that tonight. Okay, so I'm trying to clear some space here, and I'm not really good with plants, especially the little pretty flowery ones, but I know my wife's going to want to see these. Sorry about the shaky camera. I'm wearing gloves, too, so that doesn't help. But I found these right opposite of where I want to put the forge. And if anybody has an idea what they might be, they're pretty. Drop a comment in below, please. Um, I'm going to bring my wife out here to show her, and I'm sure she'll get the wildfire book out. But if anybody else has any ideas, please let us know. Wow, well, what a difference a couple hours make. So here's these little mystery flowers with a better view. Again. If you have any ideas what they could be, please just drop a comment below. That's really about it. So, um, for the first stage of my little forge project, this is where I'm at. Got a long way to go, but I don't really have a timeline, and it's just something to keep me busy anyhow. So, um, thank you for watching, and thanking you guys for uh, following along with it.